Welcome to the SCP Foundation. I am 05-4 and today you will be briefed on SCP-028. Let's begin. Item number, SCP-028. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. No special means are needed to contain at this time, as SCP-028 has not shown any change in size, position, or shape during the entire period of its containment, but access must be restricted. Currently, SCP-028 is contained on site, in site redacted, as SCP-028 is not transportable by any known means. SCP-028 is sealed in a 6x6x3 by six by meter, which is 20x20x10 20 by 20 by foot, concrete room with a single door with two armed personnel stationed outside. Only authorized personnel are to be allowed exposure to SCP-028, and extreme care must be taken at all times. While SCP-028 is itself harmless, the effect can be very damaging to the unprepared. See document Echo Lima 028 TAC 1125. Description. SCP-028 is located in an abandoned storage yard outside a copper mine in northern Michigan. SCP-028 has no detectable physical presence of any kind, but its effect occurs in a 2.1 meter, or 7 foot, cube around what is commonly held as the center of SCP-028. All forms of scanning and testing in the area of SCP-028 have shown no abnormal readings. Adding or removing objects, or attempting to remove dirt from under SCP-028 has no effect in altering the size or shape of SCP-028's area of effect, nor the onset or quality of the effect. Subjects entering SCP-028 are, within 3 to 6 seconds, struck by a total and complete knowledge of a subject. This knowledge is thus far completely random in both size and usefulness and sometimes goes unnoticed for extended periods of time. More profound knowledge generally has a stronger effect, with some cases expunged. See document Echo Lima 028 TAC 1125. This effect can be experienced multiple times by exiting and re entering SCP 028 but can result in increasingly strong migraines and dizziness after two exposures. SCP-028 came to the Foundation's attention after research into news reports of a local miner who submitted a design for a cold fusion reactor to the U.S. Patent Office. Mr. Redacted reported that it just came to me, like a bolt out of the blue. News and subjects were suppressed and contained after discovery of SCP-028, and the reactor designs implemented in the containment of SCP-1995. Subsequent testing of SCP-028 has yielded mixed results. Documents Echo Lima 028-TAC-1114 Partial Information Retrieval Log for January 5th, redacted. Note, all knowledge is perfect, total, and eidetic. Every phone book entry for New York City in 1998. How to redesign the internal combustion engine to run on human blood using only pre-existing parts. Note, full redesign takes four hours and runs at higher efficiency than gasoline. Location of keys for a Buick LeSabre. The proper method of care for a mole rat colony. Origin and history of 12 SCP objects. Note the main expunged. Family history of the Blackthorn family located in London, England. Geological structure of the earth beneath Greenland, including several unknown caves and expunged. Document number Echo Lima 028 TAC 1125. Log. Echo 112. Subject D-1182 exposed to SCP-028. Subject began to cry and went into fetal position, showing signs of high distress. Unresponsive to questioning and outside stimulus for several days. Lapsed into catatonia shortly after stating that this is not life. Subject passed into a coma and died shortly thereafter. S cause of death was attributed to shock. Echo-127. Agent redacted accidentally exposed to SCP-028. Agent showed signs of sudden surprise and bemusement. When questioned, agent requested a moment to gather my thoughts, please. 
After several seconds, Agent laughed, shook his head, and removed his service pistol from its holster. Agent then shot and wounded Dr. Redacted and killed agents Redacted and Redacted before being restrained. Post-incident interrogation revealed Agent Redacted had extensive knowledge of classified Foundation activities and several SCP objects he had not previously been exposed to, including SCP-2669. Any Foundation personnel found to have entered SCP-028's area of effect are to be detained indefinitely. Document number Echo Lima 028 TAC 1128 Log Experiment 189 Subject D-9843 was exposed to SCP-028 on March 19th, 1146. Examination of subject revealed abnormal respiratory actions, same day at 1337. Questioning revealed the subject had learned to recycle the carbon dioxide inside his body, the same day at 1721. And March 24th at 1211, there were repeated attempts to teach skill to other D-Class personnel, and those attempts failed. The subject was terminated on 07-18 at 15.03. Autopsy revealed no abnormal organ formations on the same day at 18.37. Researcher's notes. Dr. Redacted. Seriously, how the hell did he do that? And that concludes your briefing on SCP-028. Obviously, further research into SCP-028 is a high priority to the Foundation because of the knowledge that we may uncover. Uh, knowledge is power, and with power, it will help us on our mission. Remember, we secure, contain, and protect. We die in the dark so that others may live in the light. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Uh, subscribe and ring the bell if you'd like to see more. If you didn't enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a comment as to why. Uh, please try to keep your comments uh, constructive if you can. And, well, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your whatever.